Hi YouTube, this is JJ714 coming at you. Um, I'm downstairs in our office and you hear sound. I have a fan down here. Um, it's one of those little space heater fans. Um, we have, uh, we live in a three level house and um, because we tend to, in the winter time, it gets very expensive with the heat. Um, um, and then again, I'm unemployed again. So normally we do not heat the bottom area or the area above. Um, we mostly just heat the upstairs area, which is where I spend, um, and when we're home, we spend the predominant uh, amount of our time at anyway. So, but until I'm down here also, because my daughter's bus, I'm waiting for it to come. And as a matter of fact, after I did my last video, um, a special news report came on here in Atlanta. A child got shot at school. Apparently another student uh, shot uh, the child. Initially they said it was a girl, 14 years old, but apparently it's a boy. So I'm just waiting patiently for my daughter's bus to get here. Um, but I just wanted to come down so you could see my hair a little bit more. I'm going to come up a little bit. Um, as I said, I really, really love the definition. The reason that I, again, that I have this side pulled up is because um, I didn't put hairpins in my hair. Um, let me come up a little bit more. Oh, I just love the way that it looks. Um, so my hair didn't actually, you know, pull down a little. And this side was a little bit wild, so that's why I have it up. But basically, I wanted to explain what I did to my hair um, last night. And I co-washed um, using my VO5 Silky. Um, this is the Shea, the she, the, uh, shea Cashmere um, Conditioner. It has Shea Protein and Warm Vanilla. And I have to admit, I love this conditioner too. As a matter of fact, there's not too many of their conditioners that I don't like, but it just seems like the lighter ones, um, they really agree with me and they smell good. So I use that as my um, initial, you know, like my cleanser to start off the co wash. And then um, after um, I rinse that out, I use my Tresemme Natural. And this I use more as my leave-in. Now with me, because I have low porosity hair, um, if I put this conditioner on based on um, Miss Massey's um, Curly Method a book and just leave it on my hair, my hair would look like a hot mess because it would just sit on top of my hair. And I mean, it could be hours and it's still sitting there. So what I do, I don't use a whole lot of it. But I put enough to make sure it covers my hair from tip, from the crown or, you know, the top all the way through. And I rake it through with my fingers. And then what I do is I turn the water on. I start off with it being cool. And then I'll eventually try to get it as cool as I can without getting it cold. Cold, since it's, it's cold now. <laughs> and I just allow, I don't use my hands or anything. I just move back in the shower and hold my head back and just let the water basically cascade over my hair and I, you know of course I move my hair around and around but basically what that does is help the water to distribute the um, conditioner through my hair and um, since it's so difficult for my hair to actually retain moisture um, I don't use even um, when I get out of the shower I may shake my head a couple times but I normally just go ahead and dry off and, you know, do my routine with my skin, which is to put on my um, African, um, uh, Africa's Best uh, Herbal uh, Herb, the, the oils that I use for my skin, and I, I will go ahead and, uh, you know, basically put that all over, put some lotion on, put my clothes on, and I'll just basically let my hair drip. Uh, sometimes... When I don't have a lot of time, I might use a t-shirt, one of my husband's white t-shirts, and I'll put it around my hair. I also have a microfiber towel, but I don't like using that as much because it does dry my hair too quickly. Um, so after, I, I just basically let it just, you know, dry on its own. 
But I did take the t-shirt and put it on my head, wrap it around, and just, you know, let it sit for a minute. And then I sectioned my hair into four sections, and each of the sections I did three um, twists. And I just put a little bit of the she, uh, Shea Moisture's Curl Enhancing Smoothie. This is the coconut and hibiscus, and I'm telling you, oh, my God, it smells so good. And as you can see, it's very thick. You don't see anything dripping. And I only use a little bit if you see where my fingerprints are. So a little goes a long way. And I use no oil in my hair. And my hair turned out really fabulous. And my edges, I used the, I didn't bring the curl pop down, but I showed you in my last video. That's what I use for my edges. I'm still growing them out, but thank God they are growing. So you see my baby hair. Um, and basically, that's what I will be doing every three days. So again, I said that I, I did a co-wash last night, which was Wednesday night. I will wash my hair again on Saturday, and then three days from Saturday, I will do the same thing. The only difference is um, I will only use a conditioner in my hair on the days that I feel that I need. I have too much product buildup, but like tonight, I'm not going to put any more of this in my hair because I think I have enough in there. So what I might do is I might use some moisture milk or either just use a little um, just damp my hair a little bit and maybe use a little of the um, shine on it to see if I can get a little bit more of a shine. But really, I'm really, really pleased with my hair the way that it turned out this time. Um, and I will be substituting between the leave-in. Um, the veal thighs will definitely be my um, pretty much my staple um, co-wash conditioner. But I will be substituting between um, my leave-in or my style, my styler, um, my leave-in, I'm saying styler, with the L'Oreal. But I could also use this as a styler. So I might try to see what it would, how it works in my hair as a styler. But I'm pretty happy with it. So I just wanted to come back and let you see what my hair looks like. And I'm going to turn around so you can see that little spot I was telling you about. It's right up in this area. I try to camouflage it, but I don't think I can camouflage it that much. So um, I'll just go with it. I might, you know, oil that area or so, but I think if I just continue to do what I'm going to do, it'll be fine in about a month or so. You know, it's hair. It'll grow back. <laughs> but uh, with that, I just wanted to say thank you so very much for all of my new subscribers. For everyone that comes by to visit my channel, I really, really appreciate you. I appreciate the very kind words and the love and support. And by the way, I am very, very close to looking at going back to do Mary Kate. And uh, if I do, I will be coming back. And, um, you know, I might have to do a different channel for my Mary Kate. But I think... Um, I'm really interested in it because I want to be able to do something as far as ministry, not only with hair, but, you know, just helping them, our women feel better or women in general feel better by the way that they look, the way that they feel. And normally I know how makeup makes me feel, even though my husband tells me I don't need it, but I like it. So with that, um, I will talk to you later. Bless, peace, blessings, and um, just in case I don't talk to you, <laughs> The Super Bowl will be Sunday, so I'm going for Baltimore! <laughs> Actually, um, I'm not a Baltimore Ravens fan. I just like um, the young man who uh, he'll be retiring. So I'm just really praying that um, God gives Ray, Brother Ray the victory because uh, I do not like San Francisco. So my cousin from Boston is watching. I know she wants San Francisco to win, but, you know, come on, Lord. Give Brother Ray the victory in Baltimore in the name of Jesus. So with that, I will talk to you later. Peace and blessings, and I may come back Sunday early after church and let you see how my hair is looking uh, the second time around, but 
so far, I'm really, really happy. So with that, I will talk to you later. Peace.